day 11. This is all looking a bit more promising. That's uh, somewhere down there. There's the, uh, the village of Clandegla. Just stayed there last night. Had the biggest breakfast in the world. But it was 40 quid a night. B&B. Top end, really. Uh, the rest, are lovely, friendly people, etc., etc., etc. But 40 quid. Hmm. Anyway, breakfast was superb. Lots of uh, different fruits and stuff. And uh, you'd be surprised some bacon and egg and sausage. Too big for me to eat. I've had to bring some uh, sausage and bacon for me uh, for me lunch, which is always good. Um, stood here on a, a little bridge. Uh, you can just see the bridge there by the uh, by this nice little stream. And that's sort of meandering off into the distance, as indeed shall I. Well, here's a sign. Apparently, uh, people have to go over there, uh, and ducks have to go down there. I'm going to make like a duck, because I'm going down there. So I'm walking where the ducks go, which is going to take me up past that uh, big transmitting tower. And over in the distance, wow, a bit of scenery over there. And on the horizon, I don't know what you can quite see. Some of that quite picks it, just about see on the distance. If I can stop the camera shaking. We've got there some sort of wind farm. Anyway, on with the day. Well, I've now reached the top of that hill, and uh, this is the view. I'm going to talk about a, a 360. Go all the way around here. There's the, uh, the hill we're going to be climbing up, and then all the way around there. And there's your 360 degrees. Oh, we're at the top. A little out of breath. Oh, but we're heading uh, heading over there just now. I'll let you know. Right, well, somewhere over there in the distance, I've got a feeling there's Snowden. There's once been a bit of a wind farmy thing going on there. I think somewhere over there is that blooming Snowden thing. And uh, as we swing further around, I think over there, way in the distance, we might be able to see the sea. Kind of like a wind farmy thing going on. If there's some sea in the, if Wales have got a uh, a, a sea wind farm, I think that's where it is. And if they have, I can see the sea. That means that somebody has to buy me an ice cream, I think. I think that's the rules. Typical. I'll meow in all morning, then get to uh, Mole Famo, or the Mother Mountain as it's known. The place is full of school kids. Half term. Erected to uh, Oh, the Jubilee of George III, would you believe, up there. Never completed and been recently renovated and restored. We'll have a look later. Just walked up all that path to get up here. Place is absolutely packed with filming school kids. It is definitely Snowden over there because it says so. And it was definitely the sea over there, because it says so. Not that you can see much of that, because that's all in mist now. But such is life. And there's a BBC radio mast or something over there as well. Okay, see you later. Well, that's Mole Arthur. It's the last climb of the day, I think. Last big climb, anyway. The only thing is, in order to get up it, we first of all got to go down this path here from where we are, all the way down into the valley, and then up the other side. Yippee! Last serious one, apart from that one anyway. Now these little things have been our, uh, our saviour over the days. Little, uh, little signpost there. Yeah, the saying was, uh, if in doubt, follow the acorn. That's a uh, Along with other sayings such as no turning back, 
and pack light stay stinky. Now somewhere up there, I believe, is there it is. That's the Jubilee Tower that we were at. That big monument. Sorry about that, a bit shaky there with a, a zoom. Then we came across, if you remember we climbed Arthur's Mole, Mole Arthur. And then we came through those woods, which you can't quite see. And that brought us around to this little panorama. All around here. I'm still going. Still going, still going, still going, still going. Panorama, and over there is roughly where we're headed tonight. <laughs>